Broadcasting live on the UnitedWest.org and AM Radio Network, simulcasting on DirecTV, iHeartRadio, Roku, and the World Wide Web, this is Enemies of the State with Tom Trento. All right, Tom Trento here on Thursday, July 9th, 2015. What a crazy show we have for you today. Part one of a two-part special. Uh, all right, come on closer, everybody, on WSBR Radio, 740 AM on the dial, redstatetalkradio.com, unitedwest.org. Come closer. You're not going to believe what happened. Uh, we're going to show you a picture as to how all of this started. We're going to show you this picture of a gay guy a little later in the show. You don't want to miss this picture because the yes, picture... What? Yes, you do. Yes, you you do. do want to miss it, I think. <laughs> but the picture is how this whole thing started. And essentially what happened is this picture was sent to me after I had spoken about the gay ruling at SCOTUS, Supreme Court of the United States, and I was befriended by this picture. I figured, all right, they're trying to set me up. Should we show sure. the picture? Or not? not yet, not yet. Okay. Uh, you'll see it later on. So I befriended the guy behind the picture of this yeah. and um, it turns out he's a producer for a show run by a Muslim and the Muslim was trying to get me to be a guest on the show. Well, once I found that out I said of course I'll be on your show. I'll be on any Islamic show on anywhere in the world. They don't take me on their shows or anybody here from the United West. So I did the show recently and um, uh, it was it was bizarre in many respects, a bit humorous, but with some very serious points. I'll make some of the points at the end. But we're going to present two parts on the Isa Hajj and Cal show, a Catholic and a Muslim waking up America. Something like that is the name of it. Wake so, up, America. Wake up, America. <laughs> wake up, America. So right now, I want to show you this, and I'll jump in every so often. We tape the show already, but I'll jump in. I got a different color shirt, do a little commentary on it. Here we go. Me as a guest on a Muslim show, go. Sir. Oh, that, that's cute. That, that, look at that. He's got a mask. <laughs> hmm? I'll go over to your Skype. Assalamu alaikum, my brothers. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Alaikum salam. Yeah. Anyway, so here we have Mr. Tom Trento in a, uh, I, I can't tell if that's, is that, is that Netanyahu mask? That's a Netanyahu mask. He's got a Netanyahu mask. What, what do you got Netanyahu on? Don't you know we don't like Netanyahu here? That's why I wore it. That's why I oh, wore it. Oh, that's why he wore the Netanyahu mask. Yeah. Oh, you should be careful with that now. Because, oh, there you, know, you are. There's those guys. A lot guys. of people are waking up to him. A lot of people are waking hello, up to him. Hello. Hello. We wanted you to feel at home. I appreciate that, but we do not like Netanyahu. That's okay. Dead right. terrorist, another dead terrorist. Off to see carry the Allah and his 72 virgins. Hey, is Osama Look bin Laden screwing that. 72 virgins? Do you guys really believe that? I don't know, but that, that would no, scary. no, it's no, I, no, scary. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Isa, what actually worries me is that you're carrying the skin of a dead person around. That's Isa, what's actually kind of scary. It puts right the now. lotion on its it's, skin. It's, it's, My brother Isa, is Osama bin Laden screwing seventy-two virgins? Yes or no? I don't. Well, actually, no. Nobody's in heaven right now, other than Jesus. Okay, and the prophets. Some of the prophets were martyred as well. But other than that, everybody's in their graves waiting on the day of judgment. Will when he goes to paradise? And, wait a minute. With you being a theologist and an Islamic scholar, you should already know the answer to this because you're an Islamic scholar, correct? I know your answer, and I know the truth. But I, I'm what no, 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 you. No, 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 no. Not answer the question now. Wait a minute. When we die as Muslims, where we go? You go in perpetuity. You hang out until Judgment Day. That's right. So when you ask me the question about Osama bin Laden, who's dead, I mean, the answer you already I'll re know. It. I'll grave. rephrase it for the, for the jury. When he right. goes through Judgment Day, will he be rewarded because of his holy jihad with seven, at least 72? It could be up to 2,000, but at least 72 if virgins. That man is, if that man is truly guilty of his act of uh, planning 9-11 and killing all those innocent people, 
that man would be lucky to get a oh toy, man all right weapon, Evan. you heard it first ladies hell. and gentlemen just like anybody else who has taken innocent lives because no one has the right to take a life that i have made sacred how about this guy is he going to be rewarded with 72 virgins how about so this, this guy this is our show mr trent <laughs> oh okay now, oh now obama can't <laughs> stand I got obama every is show a i'm on is I my show that's rule number one <laughs> He put Obama. He actually put Obama up. There he uh, is. Anyways. <laughs> Hi, how you guys doing? Good to be here. Thanks for having me on your show. No problem. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. I think. I think. So, uh, Thomas, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Tom, Mr. Trento there. I was looking Tom, at you. The United Tom. West. We're all friends here, Tom. Oh, good, Tom, Tom. I was looking at your uh, website here. I have a Tom, Tom. You your, your, your uh, United West one here. It's bad with directions, too. And, we have a uh, website? Do we have a website, Mark? I, I think so. I don't know. Last time I checked, I thought we did. All right. All right. What about it? You have a website because you're asking for monthly donations. I was telling our listeners earlier that uh, for the $72 donation, a tax-exempt contribution to your website, they get the I hate everybody who's not like me t-shirt sent to them. <laughs> Sign. I will sign for seventy-two dollars. Dollars, yeah, we'll sign that. I'll hand deliver it for seventy-two dollars. I bet you will. Uh, so, how how is the hate mongering profiteering uh, business going? Not it's bad. Not bad. Pretty well. Yeah, there's a direct correlation between hate and broken poorness, but uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So you decided just to jump on the bandwagon and hate the nearest brown person that the media has decided that uh, is the bad guy. I'm more I'm like, brown than most brown people out there. Well, well, we're killing a whole bunch of them overseas right now. I mean, I mean, yeah. we got we spend a lot of our tax dollars killing a lot of innocent people overseas right now. Well, you agree that he should you, right? you you agree he should have been killed, right? Because you just said that. I agree. Anybody who has committed a crime of murder. There you go. Thank you. All right. Anybody that includes Obama and his drone program, who has killed I don't know what four American citizens without due process. Yeah. Not to mention how many citizens. I mean, one out of fifty people he kills is actually the intended target. So that means there's forty nine innocent people that are killed. Let's not forget the shock and awe in in Iraq. So we're going to throw Bush under the bus with this one as well. So anybody, I don't care who it is, if it's somebody that puts a bomb, straps a bomb to the chest, runs up into a market, or if it's somebody pushing a button on the other side of the world, killing innocent civilians on the other side of the world, they're all guilty of murder. All of them. Okay, great. God bless you. All righty then. So, uh, Mr. Trento. Yes. Uh, Tom, I'm sorry, we're friends here. Uh, we're friends. Uh, I, I was reading about your, your little bio you have up on here. And the thing I found interesting is in your travels to the U.S. and Europe. Have you ever been to an Islamic country? To been where? I'm sorry. To an Islamic country. Have you ever been to an Islamic country? Um, Israel, yeah. yeah. No, I have been. I've been to, I try to avoid Islamic say, countries. Wait a minute here. But I, I, I've been to, um, I actually been to Jordan. Went to Petra in Jordan. Pretty cool place. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm cool. persona non grata in Muslim countries. Don't you know that? Oh, so they want to hurt you. Is that what uh, you're saying? They will, they will hurt me badly and uh, not oh, let me yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. Cause you, I mean, because you cause such mayhem and, 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 and hardship for us Muslims. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, because even, even in my world over here, if you, if you talk bad about people, they, they like to punch people. What <laughs> world is that that you live in? Uh, that would be Michigan. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so that explains a lot there. All right, and, and also it says that uh, you, um, you earn degrees in law enforcement philosophy and theology. I was kind of curious, what kind of theology? Is that Islamic theology or is that Christian theology? Um, Islamic theology. I'm, a, I'm an imam in my, uh, in my hidden life. Ah, interesting. And what, what college did you go to? <laughs> I went to Al-Azhar in, uh, in Cairo, Egypt. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What yeah. years was that? Yeah. I went uh, just a couple of years ago. I did a uh, summer, summer tour there and studied uh, Islamic theology. <laughs> 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 yeah. Next question. And I, that was that under Al Sisi when he was busy killing all the Muslim Brotherhood. Leaders? Actually, under Mohammed Morsi, uh, he and I are like this, but they got him. Uh, they didn't that, get that's what I heard. I actually I heard that. But then when he, then when they arrested him, you went ahead and turned state's evidence. The Sharia, that's, that's, nothing but the Sharia. That, me and that's uh, what me I and, heard. Me and Mohammed. That's what I heard. How come he every Muslim's name Mohammed? What's that all about? I don't know. Why do people? Why do white people name their kids Tom? 
They don't. I didn't name any of my kids Tom. I don't have any kids, so I couldn't name them Tom. I mean, Tom is such a boring name, isn't it? I mean, it, you know, you, let yeah. me tell you, you want to know the truth? Ooh. My okay. name, my name is actually Gaetano. It's supposed to be Gaetano. We're from Sicily, yeah. my family, and my grandfather was Gaetano. So the, you're Italian. Yeah, I'm so we da- thought you were Jewish. Um, uh, we were. I was wrong. I thought he was Jewish. I Jewish. thought he was Israeli. I, yeah, I know. I, I, I thought he was. I too. know. I know. Well, he's Italian. No, I'm. A, I was uh, an Italian uh, Catholic, obviously, um, mm-hmm. converted mm-hmm. years ago to uh, Protestantism, but uh, we're from Sicily. So I got mm-hmm. Arab blood in me, Isa. You're a convert. I got Arab blood in me. Uh, that means you got a little Semite in you. Uh, a little you? bit. A little bit. Good for you. Yeah, good for yeah. you. I'm glad. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing it's saying a race of race, huh? It's not a race for race, is it? Well, you know, that's what confuses me, uh, where Islam is a race. That is the most academically, ah. intellectually foolish concept I've ever heard of. But maybe you guys can straighten me out on how... 56 different nations are all one race. Well, actually, we're in 79 different countries, but uh, you're actually correct on that. We're not a race. Okay, good. We're yeah, we're not, a- we're not a race. So you can't be racist against us, but you can be a bigot. Uh, yeah, that's actually more yeah. technical, yes. That, that actually fits you more to the T, I think. Or, or according to my faith as a Christian, I could love my enemy Though you guys are not my enemy, your your friends, your ideology is an mm-hmm. enemy of mine. That's for sure. But I can separate you as an individual from your mm-hmm. doctrine because you guys don't even mm-hmm. follow your. But you got a Catholic in there anyway. Cal's the Catholic, right? <laughs> that that would be me, sir. And, and yeah. correctly, I, I'm an Irish Catholic. But. Yeah, uh, that's even worse. A, a, a Irish Catholic who doesn't drink, so that means he's angry. He doesn't all but the he time. probably used to drink because he's you can't be Irish and not all drink. All the time. <laughs> You know, and you had to be in a million fights, Cal. Irish Catholic in Michigan, you had to be in a million fights. So I like you. Easily. Oh, yeah. But see, I, I just point out that every game I go to, Notre Dame beats Michigan. So I, I don't have a problem. Uh, but you like cars, as I do. You're a car guy like I am. What kind of cars do you have? Oh, let's see. 1929 Mercedes SSK Roadster. No, you uh, don't. Um, you do not. Yes, sir. Wow. Well, that's nice. I'm uh, impressed. Um, Let's see. Uh, I just bought a 1978 Fiat Spider that my co-host here is trying to. No, I'm not trying. Uh, you are selling it to me. <laughs> yeah, sell him a I'm case trying. of oil too with the Fiat. You have to be, <laughs> the oil will leak out. It's, it, you... it's, it's just a joyride. Occasionally, I drive to my clinic, you know, <laughs> show them that I'm actually doing well, and then I drive it back home. Beautiful. Put it in the garage. I'm impressed with the Mercedes, not the Fiat. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, my other cars are customs. Um, you know, I got an 88 Chevy truck that's full show truck. Uh, I got a Corvette motor, trans, suicide doors, stuff like that. Wow. Uh, see, I got an 89 Honda Accord LXI that I do top end racing with. Uh, still the original four cylinder. In it. Wow. Just piss people off. Uh, let's see. I got and uh, just like to remind our listeners, you're listening to. Uh, Automotive talk with Cal and Tom Trento. Want well, to see my car? Take a look at my car. Mark, can you zoom in on that? Yeah, hold on. One second. Now, I shouldn't say this because the donations are going to stop. It's, it's <laughs> been just been dark. Hard. No, the see donations if you can, are going to figure it out, Cal. Because people want that t shirt you guys are offering. They're going to want it, definitely. I, I see red. That's all I see. It looks like a convertible BMW or the 458, something. 458 uh, Italia Ferrari. <laughs> I, I wouldn't doubt it. Hey, Israel's paying pretty good money for this. Hey, kind of money. hey, you know, hey, we're rolling for right. Israel. Hey, <laughs> you hey, get the I money. That's what you do. That's right. Israel pays really well for this oh, kind of propaganda. propaganda I, I have to it was my car for one hour. I, <laughs> one I hour. For one hour. <laughs> Uh, our producer was also trying to mention my 72 Buick Skylark, but I'm sorry. Oh, that's Loki, a nice I, car. I no longer have that. Oh, uh, oh. No, you're was, a serious car guy. That's uh, yeah. I'm impressed. I, I uh, you yeah, and me after the show, you and me get together and we'll talk cars. I was uh, I was just up there. He's got some real beauties. I was just up there visiting him a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and it's just, he's got some real beauties up there. No, we really know does. what he's doing and we know what you're doing. I just you know just. I was scoping out for people to kill. Yes, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. You see my flag, right? Try to get it to eat bacon. Tried, they didn't work. Because you know, you know what happens to us Muslims when we touch pork, right? You know what happens, right? 
We're like you vampires explode. in sunlight. You explode. Don't touch us. We explode into dust. Just, <laughs> that's it. We're done. Over with. Forget it. Issa, between you and me, and nobody's listening or watching. Absolutely not. <laughs> the bacon comes out on Sunday morning. You eat it, and you go, ah, what can I do? You know, everybody makes a mistake once in a while. Well, and if you're you not know, if eating I've got it, nothing else in the kitchen to eat, I will tear a pig up in a heartbeat. There because you go, it's permissible man. for me to do that because there's nothing else to eat. But until then, I'll stick with my beef bacon. My, my Jewish friends, um, same thing. I go, you guys are missing Bacon is one of the best things in the world, let me tell you. But no, I make it no, perfectly, no. too. We're well, Italian. Well, we well, can eat know, anything. I, mean, I know lots of Muslims that eat pork, and I know some Jews that eat pork as well. Sure. And they like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's between them and God. I don't care. Yeah. So uh, onions, let, let's, let's get back because, you know, I've yours. watched you for several years now. I watched you a few years ago beat up on uh, a good friend of mine on your show. Well, this was before you got all big. I mean, now look at you. Yeah. Got your own studio now. The money's rolling in. Look at that. I'm Ferraris. Yeah, Ferraris. Yeah. Ferraris. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Everything. Ferraris, yeah. Jet plane. We could forget about our jet plane, though. We get that jet plane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, that's just jet. Learjet. <laughs> Learjet, yeah. <laughs> Who'd I beat up on? I don't beat up on anybody. <laughs> well, MD, MD alum. No, no, no. No, I treated nice him very, very nicely. You two were kissing cousins for a while. We I were, treated we're, him very nicely. In fact, we yes, spoke did. We spoke not too long ago. He wanted to come Actually, on the show. I said, absolutely. You know, yeah. problem with, with MD, in all honesty, he's very difficult to understand. He and, is. And Even when you're face to face with him. Yeah, he's difficult to understand. And, yeah. you know, I, 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 I respect, I'll fight with the people, obviously, if we're something to fight about. But he's mm -hmm. tough to communicate to the audience. Um, and but I'll, I'll have him back on. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, um, it's something that he definitely needs to work on. Uh, but um, you know, so I've been watching a few of your uh, episodes, you know, a few of your shows and stuff like that. And uh, you and your producers have have a really good time at uh, you know uh, painting this. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, I mean, I understand it. Trust me. I mean, you, you don't think the thought ain't crossed my mind? I said, hey, all I got to do is talk bad about Muslims, and I'll be Pam Geller, five hundred thousand dollars a year, no yeah, problem. Yeah. You know? Wait a minute. If I talk bad about Muslims, I get five hundred thousand a year. Yeah, it, well, actually, it's right. a million. It's a million. It's a yeah, million it's, a year. It's, it's a million. It's huge. It, it's huge money. Huge, Muslim. huge money. Huge money. Oh yeah. You especially should think about converting. Muslim, huge. I mercy. I mean, we're talking about the book deals and all this stuff. And you look at uh, Wallet Showbot. Even when CNN does a show disproving him as an ex-terrorist, all right, and showing that he was never in an Israeli prison ever for some invisible bank that never blew up, the man is still pulling in 15 grand to speak at police functions, okay? Just That's because he's good. from Palestine. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, well, it's, it just goes <laughs> to show you how stupid people are, really. I mean, really it is. You know, instead of doing a little research themselves to find out the truth about things, instead they just open up their wallets and say, okay, please... Make my opinion for me. Yeah, hit that donate button on our page. We appreciate yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all the stupid <laughs> yeah. people listening, go to go, our go, page. Go, go, go to our hit page and hit that button. Because <laughs> I don't get 15 grand to speak. It costs us money when I go out to speak. <laughs> we need all right. a donate button so we can stop paying for our own stuff. <laughs> all right. Uh, we, need, we, need, we need to take a, just a couple seconds to plug our broadcasting partners. So uh, hold on a second. Go ahead, Loki. <laughs> You're listening to Wake Up in America, a Muslim and a Catholic, rebroadcast not only here on wakeupinamerica.com, but also on our broadcasting partners, JREV Radio and Copy Party USA Radio Network. Who's that that LMR. just spoke? LMR. Who's that? That, that is, our, that is, our, that is our, our producer. And by the way, uh, just to let you know, he's our gay producer who Loki? I intend to behead. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm missing. The, the web page is a lot different. Yeah. Are you guys screwing with our heads here? Loki <laughs> no, no. King is like an 18 year old gay guy laying out with, in his underwear. Who's who's that Loki? <laughs> who's that Loki? <laughs> that's the same. <laughs> really? That's the same Loki. Oh, you're kidding and, me. Uh, what you, what's going hey, on, Loki? Don't discriminate over here. That's, that's uh, we do not. Hey, we that's do not false advertising, what he does Loki. In the of his own home is his business, and I don't care to hear about it. He doesn't tell me about it. That's his business. Hey, some some, some of my gay friends looked at that and said, "Wow, that, that yeah. looks like a pretty good hot guy." Hey, no, Trent, though, you got a new gay friend. We I want to meet him. him. <laughs> that's false hey, advertising, yeah, really? Loki. What's up with that? 
As you can see, uh, particularly for those of you who have been watching the show and know how we operate here at the United West, we're playing with these guys a little bit. Um, look, they're not at our level by any means in terms of these issues. We do these shows to, uh, to make a point, a very, very serious point. And we're going to make it throughout the show. But the way this all started, I know you're waiting to see the picture that got this whole thing going. Mark, should we show the picture that got this whole thing going? Drum roll, please. Uh, do it. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I was asked to be a friend of Loki King. You just saw Loki. That's his Facebook Facebook picture. Get ready, Brave New World, for all of this. I befriended him, thinking the gay community wanted to set me up. Little did I know, it was the Muslim community. I'm a little jealous. Right. You never let me get shirtless that close to you. I don't like the way he's looking at you, Thomas. Thomas Anthony Trento, what are you doing with him? Check out now the next segment of this very interesting show. <laughs> False advertising. All the models do that airbrush thing on their picture. Yeah, right. that, that's an airbrush. That, that, that's a truck. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> hey, Mark, put up Loki's picture. Yeah, let me Mark. see if I can find that. Hold Let's on. Let's show everybody Loki's picture. Hold on a second. Hold on. Because you're going to make me throw up now. Don't. Stop it. <laughs> A cute kid. It's bad, enough I gotta, it's bad enough I gotta look at him right now, okay? <laughs> we love you, Loki, thank, whatever. Th th thank you, Loki, for yeah, that. I think, I, think you, I, I, think, I think you missed one. Oh, look, we made him run off. Oh, well. And Loki, right. as a Christian. He'd get happy in the same pants he got mad in. As a so, Christian, uh, Loki, we don't hang you, okay? We're not gonna hang you. That's we'll right. Love you don't have you, to run. Uh, they'll, they'll, we, just, they'll just browbeat you and force you into straight camps. There you go. <laughs> uh, all right so um i'm all yours it's not my show that's right that's right cal uh cal where you at cal sir cal, I, I, there. I ran away no oh, come back come back because i think you had some questions for our, our, our friend here well i do i do um can, can i call you mr trento i, I mean my no. mom raised me to respect my elders no 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 <laughs> no um oh. uh you can call me. Call me whatever you want. Just don't call me late for dinner. Oh, well, it depends on what we're having. There might not be any time you get there. All right. Um, now, for a guy who has a 1928 uh, Mercedes SSK, you can, you can do whatever you want. That's a pretty cool car. Well, thank you. Thank you. I waited 30 years for that car staring at it, by the uh, way. I'd so like to see a picture of it. It's a very nice car. But go ahead. Uh, hold on. Hey, hey, go. go. Let me see. Wow. No, that's that's uh, that's a rare automobile. Hey, he's working on the interior. Last time I was up there. Yep, my yep. my upholstery guy is going nuts with it. Yep. Yep. Um, okay, as you know, Tom, you you're you're blasted all over the internet and stuff, and I I would actually like to give you a chance to rebut a few things that have been said about you, um, and. and there was a video out, uh, I'm sure you remember, back in 2012, uh, and, and from this uh, website, uh, local, or I'm um, sorry, Looney Watch is what they call it. <laughs> uh, okay, in your video, uh, they're speaking that you said that Muslim Brotherhood joined the Nazis during World War II, quote unquote. Um, now, we all know that the, the Nazis or a Muslim Brotherhood did not join the Nazis. Um, yeah. And I would like to hear from you what, what your explanation of how you came about to believe that the Nazis and the Muslim Brotherhood were joined together. Cal, my brother Cal, you're such a downer, man. We got this show. You have to understand the human dynamic in communication. Right mm -hmm. now, the three of us, even Loki, we got this show. We have the audience right where we want them. They like us. They're listening. They're coming with us. They're bringing in the hate. These guys are getting along. Yeah. Now you do serious <laughs> stuff. You threw cold water on the whole show. You're killing the show. I'm on Looney Watch. I mean, come on. You can't it's come Loon up with. Watch. Not Loon, Loon Watch. Loon Watch. Loon Watch. 
Oh, yeah, I Loon am. Watch. Sorry. Oh, so you're familiar with it? Uh, yes, I'm one of Loon Watch's I, top I uh, guys. I give you an opportunity. I'm a to Loon. What can I tell you? Because we were already before, you know, because we we're having technical difficulties getting you on here. You know, we had to fill air time because we didn't have you to pick on. So we had to talk about things that we found. So it's only fair. And it's only fair we give that it. we ask these questions and you defend yourself because we had already we had already started talking about them. Hold on, I, I wouldn't even so much call it defending yourself. I'm giving him an opportunity to re rebut what they're saying. First of all, I don't need to rebut anything that I say. I couldn't care less what people think about me. I I do evaluate what's said. I look at it. I, I evaluate the source, and. You know, I know what I'm doing. I'm very talented. I have a very strong academic background. We, we vet out information. If indeed there is a mistake, and truthfully, there's been a couple of mistakes. We miss dates here and there. We correct them on the record. I have over a thousand hours of material out on the internet. Um, the, the, mere, the mere question indicates the uh, lack of understanding historically yes. of you, Cal. On the issue of uh, um, Hajj al Sani, the, uh, the, the, um, uh, the, the Muslim leader of Jerusalem at the time, who mm. indeed put together a uh, Bosnian brigade for Adolf Hitler, met with Adolf Hitler several we did a whole times, video on it. headed up yeah. the, uh, the brigade of uh, Muslims working for Hitler. He's part of the Brotherhood. Yasser Arafat was his, was his cousin. This is not secret information. This is okay. Google this is information. Right. So unbelievable, unbelievable that a Muslim, Muslim in name only, uh, Isa Hajis, would question our academic acumen and our exactness related to uh, Grand Mufti al Husseini of Jerusalem and his relationship. Look at the picture right behind me. That's Adolf Hitler. That's Husseini, the Grand Mufti, on the other side. This is such an important subject, and we're glad they brought it up, that we have prepared for our audience uh, a piece, a uh, couple of minutes long, the piece, a few minutes long. We didn't produce it. We found it, uh, I think it's National Geographic. His History, History Channel. Channel. History the History Channel. Channel. On this particular issue. It shows the importance of the involvement of the Muslim Brotherhood with Hitler that carries over to today but also shows, sadly, the stupidity of people that try to challenge us on this. Check this piece of non-produced United West video about Husseini and Hitler. On November 20th, just three months after Hitler invades the Soviet Union, the Grand Mufti Amin al-Husseini is in Berlin, safe from British pursuit. He is welcomed to the Nazi capital by the German foreign minister, von Ribbentrop. The Mufti failed in Iraq, but he is convinced that a Nazi victory in the war will, in the end, give him everything he wants. Once again, he asks von Ribbentrop for German promises to support Arab independence. He insists that the Jews of the Middle East are part of a world conspiracy and makes it clear that he fully supports their complete annihilation. He asks von Ribbentrop for face time with Adolf Hitler. Von Ribbentrop is impressed. He agrees that the Mufti should meet Hitler in person. The Grand Mufti wanted Hitler to promise an Arab national state in the Middle East, in the ancient lands of, uh, is of Islam. And that's exactly what Hitler was willing to offer them, either quietly or openly, depending upon the nature of the context. Eight days after he is greeted in Berlin by von Ribbentrop, the Grand Mufti has his long sought after meeting with Adolf Hitler. Hitler explained to him that he would ask every people in the Middle East to deal with their Jews and to solve the Jewish problem. And it was clear what he meant. He meant to organize another Holocaust in the Middle East. With Hitler's blessing, the Grand Mufti is introduced to the chief of the SS, Heinrich Himmler. Himmler, his subordinate Adolf Eichmann, 
and Al Husseini become close friends. Himmler gives the Mufti the rank of Gruppenführer in the SS, the equivalent of general, and gives Amin and his followers a generous monthly allowance to set up an Arab bureau in Berlin. The Mufti was everywhere in Germany during World War II. He was parading up and down the street, he was making official visits, he was making embassy visits, he was on uh, Radio Berlin uh, nightly. Himmler puts the Mufti in charge of all Arabic broadcasting from Berlin. Over the airwaves, Al Husseini repeatedly calls for another Arab uprising against the British. He also rails against the Jews, inciting Arabs to, quote, kill the Jews wherever you find them. In all of his speeches afterwards, he would always explain there are three big enemies, the British, the Americans, and the Jews. He would depict America as a, the big enemy of the Arabs. The Mufti hated Jews, he hated Zionism. His goal was to destroy the Jews, kill them, before they were allowed to immigrate. In 1943, the Grand Mufti learns of plans by Hungary, Romania, and Bulgaria, countries allied to Germany, to let thousands of Jews leave for the safety of Palestine. Through his influence with Himmler and von Ribbentrop, the Mufti immediately has the programs canceled. Among the planned emigrants are 4,000 children. Their fate in Nazi-controlled Europe is almost certain death. In the last four years of war, Germany has suffered enormous casualties on the battlefield. The Reich is desperate for fighting men. Heinrich Himmler begins recruiting Muslims from the Balkans with the enthusiastic help of the Grand Mufti, Amin al-Husseini. The Mufti helps raise the Bosnian Muslim 13th SS Division Hansjar, along with other units of what the Mufti calls his Arab Legion. Altogether, the Grand Mufti helps recruit 30,000 men for the Nazi war machine. Ironically, in Nazi racial theory, Arabs are seen as inferior racial stock and not eligible for SS membership. Himmler treats foreign SS units with contempt as second-class citizens. But after an extensive physical exam for the Mufti, he makes an exception. For this, he has Hitler's approval. The personal physician of the Grand Mufti evaluated the Grand Mufti and he said uh, he is not an Arab. He's a, he's a Caucasian, almost an Aryan. So we can expect that he will be a really reliable ally for us. The SS Division Hansjar is deployed hunting down underground resistors in Yugoslavia and acts as an internal security force in Hungary. The division is responsible for a series of atrocities against partisans and Jews. In April 1945, as Allied troops fight their way through Germany in the last battles of the war in Europe, the story of the Mufti's Muslim regiments takes one final twist. As the cataclysmic battle for Berlin rages around Hitler's bunker, among the Nazi troops making their last suicidal stand are 100 men of the Mufti's Arab Legion. With the Allied victory, the war is over. But the influence of Nazi Germany on the Middle East is far from over. In Iraq, the Grand Mufti's legacy will fan the flames of a new and potent force. One that will mold a young Arab nationalist into a cunning and brutal dictator. So by that logic then, so by that logic then, Prescott Bush, who funded Nazi Germany and made 
money hand over fist, and this is a fact, okay? So then by your, by, by your search, and believe me, I'm not defending the Muslim Brotherhood, because to be quite honest with you, I'm an American. I don't pay much attention to the Sunni Shiite crap, okay? Because really, to be honest with you, it's stuff that's been going on for thousands of years, and it's stuff that's probably continuing to go on a thousand years. Issa, I'd rather see my tax dollars spent here. But that's my question is, by okay. your assertion there, by one person who is one of the Muslim Brotherhoods from 1939, who put together this Bosnian brigade to, to, to help out, then in that case, that means all the Bushes and everybody who's ever aided or benefited from the Bushes' wealth and their business ventures are also Nazis because Prescott Bush himself invested millions into Heil Hitler. Uh, well, if, if that's a fact of history, I would have to agree with you. If, if uh, anybody supported Hitler's regime, uh, that's anathema, of course. Well, but, but, uh, I, I don't that know that to be a fact. All Protestant Christians... All because he's a Protestant. Well, he calls himself. I think he's a Satanist, to be honest with you. But he calls himself a Protestant Christian. Okay, so that means by your argument, because I remember a very nice documentary of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood at the time that Mohammed Morsi was in, was elected into uh, into president in Egypt. They did a huge expose on how for thirty years they had worked with Coptic Christians. They had tried to turn away and get away from all that violence. And then Al Sisi comes in. They didn't like Al, Mur Al Morsi anymore, or uh, Mohammed Morsi anymore, because he no longer he wanted to renegotiate his agreement with with Israel to continue to blockade Palestine, and and Morsi no longer was liked by America anymore. We were backing him. Obama, who yeah, I can't them. stand, was loving him. Sure. All right, and then all of a sudden, when he said, "You know what? I don't like this agreement with Israel anymore. We need to renegotiate this." Then all of a sudden, Netanyahu turned on him, Obama turned on him, the Republicans turned on him, everybody turned on him, and then Al-Sisi was made into power. And then what did he do? He killed and hanged hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people in a very short matter of time, completely getting rid of the Muslim Brotherhood. So by your own And outlawed it. Time, and outlawed the Brotherhood. Yep. It's a and terrorist organization. It. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. That's correct. And outlawed them. So what's your point? So by your argument, well, it's, uh, by, by your argument here, the act of one person who happened to be a Muslim Brotherhood from 1939 made all the Muslim Brotherhood bad and or and i.e. Muslims bad yeah. uh, because that's basically where you're going with that. Then the same can be said with Protestant Christians because Bush identifies himself as a Protestant Christian. <laughs> Hold on. That means every Christian okay. Is a Good point. Too. Next. That's right. Every Christian is a clan member. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Good, point. Good point. Right. That logic. I'll uh, yeah, every yep. Christian's a clan member. I'll, I'll grant that. Okay, good point. They're not. <laughs> right. It's ridiculous. It's, it's asinine to think that. The same is with well, a lot of your logic. A lot of things I see you write. A lot of the things I see you uh, talk about on your show that you paint 1.67 billion Muslims, a third of the world's population, to think that we all think the same way. That we all think Muslim, Christians and Jews are infidels, which in fact all I are drunks. That's right. All what? Irish, all all Irish, Irish are drunk. Yeah. All Irish are drunk. It doesn't yeah. drink, but well, oh, you fact, don't even drink. They're actually yeah, right. called the, the people of the book. Jews and Christians are called people of the book, not infidels. Infidels are those that are pagan worshippers who worship multi gods. Well, can I That's, ask a question? Well, let, I, let him. He, oh, he, well, look, I don't know who. I don't know who. This, this is Mark. I'm the producer. Our, this is therapy for Issa. Let him. Let him keep going. He has Tom <laughs> Trento on. Yeah, you know. That, Go ahead. that was the extent. That's, 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 that's it. That's it. That's all you got. You that's do. all you got. <laughs> Out of all the things that come on, I, I can even hit the internet. Say, I will have to pay you one compliment all right. right now. All right. Because I disagree wholeheartedly with ninety nine point nine percent of things. But you, sir, took us up on the challenge to come onto the show when yep. so yep. many Islamophobes yep. never did. I mean, so you, and, sir. Granted, we're a small show. Yes, we're get a self tip of the hat for me. We're actually the number two Islamophobe. We're trying to be number one, but we can't get up there. We're, we just can't get past hey, that. Hey, look, um, I, I have a friend, sort of a friend. He wants to kill me, but we're, we have a weird, friendly relationship by the name of Anjem Chowdhury. And oh, my God. I can't stand that dude. What? Well, why right, not? On, He's one of your about. brothers. He's a nice guy, actually. He's a Sunni Shia. That dude is, that dude is I've had him on the show several we times. We did a whole... I, we, listen, I would love to get him on the show because I would love to embarrass him with his idiotic crap. Like, oh, there, he quotes a hadith that... That Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing of God upon, be upon him, said that that the flag of Islam will fly over the White House. Yeah. There's no hadith. 
I got them all sitting right up there. All the hadiths right there. Not one time, nowhere in there did it say, but this man who's supposed to be a imam, a scholar, quotes a hadith to say that that's what, the, that's what Muhammad said 1,426 years ago. But, but the point the point I'm making is I'll go on anybody's show anywhere I'll talk to anybody about what I believe about Islam and very simply I mean you know uh, I'm, I'm happy for you that you're feeling good that you're getting this off your chest but my, my belief system is very simple I'm an evangelical Christian Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior I've uh -huh. committed myself to him I uh, I do have degrees in, uh, in in Bible theology in Greek I study the Greek language. I could translate the, uh, the New Testament in Greek. I then went on to seminary, studied uh, apologetics and philosophy of religion. Mm -hmm. I've studied the world religions you know, for 35 years. I've looked into everything. And when I, when I take um, doctrinal Christianity, not anecdotal Christianity that the Bushes said they're Episcopalians or whatever, or the guy down here who, who's burning Korans and all that, Terry Jones and all this stuff, but doctrinal Doctrinal doctor, Christianity. Sir. When I take the doctrines of Christianity and compare uh -huh. them to Judaism, compare them to Baha'i, compare them to Mormonism, compare them to Islam, compare them to any of the world's religions, and I mm -hmm. ask serious questions. Why are we here? Where are we going? What's right? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? And I look at all the systems to see which answers the questions most effectively. I conclude, after all my analysis, all of my research, Christianity mm -hmm provides the most amount of answers, the most amount of times, therefore I'm persuaded right now to be a Christian. I can change my mind tomorrow, unlike you, but therefore... Oh, is, apostate. Oh, therefore, okay, good. I'm glad you brought that up. Go ahead, continue. Therefore, yeah. therefore I'm not locked into Christianity, and uh, if I question it or, or yeah. leave it, you know, I'm, I'm going to, the Christians are going to kill me or anything like that. I can, I can creatively and analytically critique my belief system, whereas in, in Islam you can't do that. And I found Christianity makes more sense, that's all. And I, and I found that Islam not only doesn't make as much sense, but when you follow the doctrines of Islam, but more particularly when you follow Muhammad, then you, you, you live a lifestyle that is destructive and deadly and dangerous. Very simple. Well, you know, it's funny that you say that because for 21 years I've been a Muslim. For 21 you're years. not a Muslim. You're an American. I'm a you're Muslim. not a Muslim. I follow the doctrine. <laughs> Muslim I'm fasting and right now. Muslim. I yeah, you're a Mina. We call you Minos. Muslim the Quran. and Nemo. I read it. I, impl <laughs> I implemented it into my life as well. Am I perfect? By no stretch of the imagination, am I perfect? But you, you mentioned something about apostates. Mark, check okay? the chat room. I got to um, hang on. I got a text to check the chat room. I guess you guys have an active chat room. We do. But okay. uh, uh, real quick, uh, yes. you know, your, just go along with our show. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> on your apostate com you know, comment that you just made there, actually, you're wrong about that. OK, yeah. Is that culturally in, in certain areas like you'll find in Saudi, uh, in Iraq, uh, Iran and in certain areas like that, particularly around the Gulf? That you'll find uh, people leaving Islam <laughs> that are punished that by death. Most definitely, you will. All right. I'm not going to say that. I mean, look at Saudi. At the same time that our our media was pitching a fit about three American journalists beheaded by ISIS, our best friends, our allies, Saudi did 18, and yet media said nothing about it. Absolutely nothing about it. All right. Why? Why? Why they I keep quiet about that? Um. <laughs> but you're actually wrong. You, I, I, I wasn't thing. listening to you, sorry. <laughs> I was right. looking something I wasn't up. actually talking to you. I was actually talking <laughs> to you. Yeah, we figured okay. that out. So so were you really oh, by the way, why you guys, why you guys are doing that? One years oh. about Islamophobes is this, Tom. Is that I'll what? never debate them because I think I'm going to change their minds? No, it it's, it's more entertainment. It's I more debate them for those that are listening and or reading what it is that I'm talking about because yeah. those are the people that I tend to be able to Look, Issa, here. I'm going to tighten it Issa, hang on, Mark. Let, let's get serious for a second because um, these are important issues. We're having fun and all that. I, I like you guys. Oh, yeah. We're having fun. Yeah. But you yeah. just raised an issue. And um, now here's what I'm very good at, Issa. I'm very good at uh, taking, sure. fact, sure. taking factual information mm -hmm. and uh, cross-examining a person to reveal mm -hmm. the fallacy as to what they're saying based upon Islamic doctrine. This is what I do mm -hmm. very, very well. And okay. I'm going to do this to you now, if you don't mind, because we're going to start with this book. Are you familiar with this book? 
Reliance of the Traveler is what he's holding up. You ever seen that? What is it called? Reliance it called? of the Traveler. No, I haven't heard of it. You never heard of it? All right, okay. then we can't we can't go any further. This is uh, really very very interesting, and I hope I hope you're enjoying this uh, unique presentation and learning, because that's the key. Uh, we do our edutainment, but we want people to learn, and this segment is critically important. You can see the book behind me in English. It's uh, Reliance of the Traveler. Arabic is Umdat al Salik. And uh, Isa Hajjah spoke about, or you will hear him speak about, the Hadith in his room. The Hadith are books, commentaries on the life of the Prophet Muhammad and uh, on what he said, scores of them. And the reliance of the traveler was put together by Islamic scholars so that a Muslim who wants to follow the Sharia doesn't have to read a hundred different books and the Quran. You can read the Quran with Reliance of the Traveler and you can make it to paradise. For a Muslim to never to be a Muslim for 21 years to never have heard of Reliance of the Traveler shows he's not really a real live Muslim. But in any case, the point for our show is the validity of Reliance. When you pick it up and you look at who approved it, you have organizations like the Feek Council of America, of North America, you have Al-Azhar University out of Cairo. You have the International Institute of Islamic Thought. You have organizations on and on that say, this is the book Muslims Absolutely. have to follow. 100%. 100%. Now, when you go to the book on the issue of apostasy, which is what we're talking about, you read it, leaving Islam is the ugliest form of unbelief and the worst. When a person who has reached puberty is sane, and voluntarily apostatizes from Islam, he deserves to be killed. It goes on. It says, There is no indemnity for killing an apostate or any expiation of it since it's killing someone who deserves to die. So if you kill an apostate, it's okay. There's no question. If you apostatize from Islam, Sunni Islam holds you responsible and you have to die, Isa. That's your faith. This is the... Um codified book of Islamic doctrine as approved by all the leading Sunni organizations from Al-Azhar to the Feed Council to mm -hmm. 20 different, to Jordan, to all these different high-level scholars. They said the mm -hmm. Sharia, this is the articulation of the Sharia. And let me just read what it that's, says that's, about... That's the law book. That's the law, law book. That's the Islam. Sharia law, law book. book. Let me read what it says about apostasy. Okay. It says, okay. and this is in um, 08. O and 08.1. When a person who has reached puberty and is sane voluntarily apostatizes from Islam, he deserves to be killed. Mm, interesting. And Oops. that's codified by the, Mus the Fee Council, Fee Council mm -hmm. North America, the, the Triple IT, all the major Muslim groups in America, not just when, overseas. When I, when, we, when I personally or organization critiques Islam, we don't critique necessarily you because you know you're a Mino, a Muslim in name only. We're critiquing the doctrine of Islam <laughs> and 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 we have found I'm a Mino. Yeah. Okay, well first first off uh, first off Tom, the book that you just quoted right there. It's your um, book, not my book. book. Yeah. Right there. Well, I, well, the book you just quoted. Correct. The book you just quoted there. Yeah. yeah. Twenty one years and I've studied all kinds of different ideologies from right. Hanafi to Hanabli to uh, to Maliki to, to all Bukhari, the different to all of them you've studied all of them okay I've studied all of them all right all right and uh, nowhere and I can quote even off the top of my head without even looking I can quote many Quranic verses as well as Hadith that contradicts that Okay. okay. So this well, book that, this. You're, that you're quoting from, <laughs> then what we have, I can't even comment have, yeah. on simply because I have never heard He's, of it. It could be winnable. Number one. Well, Issa, what we have for you, not me, is a conundrum. You mm -hmm. have not been exposed to serious and significant Islamic doctrinal material. You, if you're a serious Muslim, which I don't think you are a serious Muslim, you've made several so, statements that uh, actually, if I were your imam, I would bring you into the woodshed and uh, apply some Sharia with a little, uh, a little board, if I were your imam. But um, uh, you have a, a theological and an eternal... How do you apply so you... law with a board? What's that? How do you apply law with a board? He's going old school about taking Go to Saudi Arabia. Arabia. <laughs> okay, really? Go, Go to, to Saudi Arabia. 
Like, and it, 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 in like, my Italian family, my mother used a broom. You actually paid any attention to any of, this, any of the things that I wrote about. Wahhabism is the problem that you and I both agree upon is the problem in this world. Ah, Not ah, Islam. Ah. All right? It's Wahhabism. Because this is where extremism <laughs> comes from. And you can ah, eh, he and haul all you want. But the fact of the matter is, is that countries like Qatar and Saudi, all these Gulf countries that have this royal family uh, where they have created this Wahhabism and they've created this extremism where they take verses from the Quran and they cherry pick it. See, people like them and ISIS are no different than people like you. You call What's me the Amino, concept uh, of abrogation? Muslim in name only. What's the ah, concept whatever. of abrogation? You call me whatever you want. No, right? wait, wait, the fact go. of the matter is, is that when I read... Um, about the things that these people are doing, the things that they're saying, and that they're doing in the name of my religion that I believe in, that I've studied for 21 years. You went to a weekend seminar in, in Egypt. <laughs> I did. That was, I, I was know, kidding. I was, I was kidding. never in a week. I understand kidding. that. I, was <laughs> I, I know you were kidding about that, right? But the fact is, is that you are no different, and I'm not talking about just you, I'm talking about Fox News, I'm talking about Pam Gellers, Robert Spencers, all you right. kind of guys like that. You're no different than oh, us white people. Oh, us white people. people. Us white haters, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not white. Absolutely. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Not white at all. And that, that, that's the other not... conundrum. How can we be racist? There you go. <laughs> exactly. How can I be racist and I'm and white too? How can too? I be Anyways. racist, right? All right, let me hear so, him. Let me hear him. So, so my, my point is that all of you guys are the same. You do the exact same thing. You cherry pick verses and therefore mm. you twist it in order to make it sound violent. I can do the same with Christianity because hey, both the Bible well, you, and I've studied the Bible as well. Luke 19, 27. What does it yeah. tell us to do? Well, you missed a couple I of my friends. I tell you that everyone who you has missed, yeah, more shall be given. We oh, can you're do talking that. about apostates. You're talking about how you, as a as 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 a studier of your faith and your theology, your Greek, you know, studying the Greek origins, even though Jesus didn't speak Greek and spoke Aramaic, but you studied these. Mm -hmm. And yes. the thing that you don't understand is the very same little cherry picks that you're picking from the Quran can also be done from the Bible as well, and as well as the Torah. Uh, it can be done from any... Well, exactly. Well, here, here's the problem. Wait a no, wait a minute. Hold on. Here's, here's, here's the thing, because we're actually getting ready to go into the break. Okay. So um, the thing I want to say is this, is that the problem is this, is that when you cherry pick a religion, you can make it look either bad or good. Well, it's profitable to make Islam look bad. It's profitable to make Muslims look bad right now. Has been for 14 years. Probably will be for another 50 years. Who knows? But when you actually look at the stats of terrorist attacks, of those that are actually putting Americans in danger, because that's what your whole United West organization is about. It's about preserving America's way of life, preserving the Christians in America. Well, let's look at that. Since 9-11, mm -hmm. because of the actions of 19 people, according to what our government said, 19 people hijacked these planes and killed 2,996 people, almost 3,000 people. Okay? Yeah. Only 33 Americans have been killed out of 399 terror attacks in America since 9-11, only 33 have been done by Muslim extremists. So $14 trillion, over two, almost 2 million citizens killed overseas, <laughs> all for 33 <laughs> American citizens killed. So uh, I, I kind of disagree with you, statistics. I will be 26,000 terror attacks. Show. We will finish this, Tom. We're not going anywhere, right? Uh, yes. We yes. have our next guest coming up. Tom, I'm coming on your show. Okay. We'll continue this conversation. Then. Oh, we're done. Oh, we're done. We don't have time to refute that. that. Could I? Could I? You could I take thirty hour. seconds? Could I take thirty of seconds? Well, I'll give you thirty seconds. seconds. Okay. Yeah, you got thirty seconds. You you mentioned my friends Pamela Geller, Robert Spencer, all of us. You forgot to mention Hassan Albana, Said Kutub. You forgot to mention Yosef Quaradari, Ayman Al Zwahiri. You forgot to mm -hmm. mention Abu Bakr Al Baghdadi, because all of them believe in this book and they're very very devout scholars of islam so you disagree not only with me <laughs> but with the scholars of scholar sunni of islam, islam. Uh, you are my dear friend a oh. mino oh. Oh. Name name only. Only. <laughs> goodbye everybody <laughs> okay well that was very very interesting and our big idea we always have a big idea for our audience our big idea for this presentation is what we've been preaching for years and years most Muslims do not understand the doctrine of their own faith. That was graphically illustrated this past hour with Isa Hajis, who's a very prominent Muslim who's done a, a, quite a bit politically, actively. 
but when confronted with the facts of his own ideology, he's unaware or he's playing games. In either event, our job was to expose that, and we did. But the sad part is, these individuals who don't know their faith, then we critique it, they turn around and condemn our critique, which is accurate, try to set up our critique as the norm and call us Islamophobes. Their whole system is built on a fallacious ground. We are revealing the facts of insidious Islam and indeed Islamophobia works. We want you to know that. Stay tuned for tomorrow where we ask Isa several questions about Islam he will never be able to answer. See you tomorrow.